Hello everybody and uh, this is Edward and welcome to a Maya tutorial on how to set up iCase and to be more specific we're gonna look at the problem that uh, usually comes up when we rig our joints uh, with the IK handle just like that and uh, only to realize that when we are moving our IK handle we get some kind of a flipping uh, results. So uh, what's happening here? How to solve that and how to uh, actually create the joints that would never do that. So in order to understand the problem we need to look at two two things. Uh, local rotation axis and um, IK plane. So let me delete this and uh, I'm gonna have to detach the skin here because uh, we can't adjust our joint the rotation axis uh, with the skin attached uh, it will mess up our geometry so uh, let's hide these arm okay so uh, what is the IK plane basically what it is is when Maya creates an IK uh, handle it sets up a it, it creates a plane uh, that looks like this let's go ahead and create one we're just gonna snap our points here and uh, this is this is the plane oops let's hide that okay uh, so this is the plane that Maya looks looks at and the next thing that it's looking at uh, when it creates the IK plane is does the elbow joint has a uh, a matching rotation axis in other words can we rotate one of the axis here and keep that elbow on that plane or keep the forearm on that plane and notice that no matter which axis we choose we're not getting the uh, desired results in other words what what Maya wants is why Maya wants to rotate using one rotation axis rotate it in such a way that it will keep this joint on that plane kind of orbiting on that plane so now we don't have that so we need to adjust our local rotation axis um, to match that plane so we can uh, switch to a component mode and make sure that this question mark selection mask is enabled so we can not only see our local rotation axis but also select them and adjust them so all my needs from us is to um, set it up in such a way that we've got one plane that matches it or the axis that's perpendicular that will give us a proper rotation so we can eyeball it and kind of get it kind of close um, and it probably will give us a um, an okay result and let's go ahead and uh, test that so notice that basically right now let me just go back here notice that right now if we grab our green uh, circle here which stands for the Y rotation we should be able to more or less rotate the elbow and keep it on that plane uh, not perfect but close so now if we go ahead and set up our IK it will definitely give us a much a, a better result not perfect but better so notice that it's still uh, I mean it's not flipping as much and it's actually pre pretty good but you know the elbow may still um, swing away a little bit it's actually fairly good so uh, we can sometimes just go ahead and eyeball and uh, just manually rotate the local rotation axis however uh, it always gives us a peace of mind when we've got it perfectly set up so let's take a look at how we can um, set things up where it's gonna work 100 percent so what we need to do here is uh, is this uh, let me delete that or actually let's skip it for now so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this joints and we're gonna let's take a look at our local rotation axis and uh, to easier set it up 
let's go ahead and uh, go to skeleton and orient joints what we want is we want one of the axes uh, let's just go ahead with the default x-axis and uh, make sure that it's um, running along the bone or in other words that the x-axis is pointing towards the next uh, joint the child joint let's hit apply and notice that everything's been adjusted and what's going on here why not this orient there we go skeleton orient just to make sure that all of our x-axis are adjusted now that we've got our x-axis and there again all over the place uh, let's go ahead and do the other thing uh, and actually before we do that let's go ahead and create uh, locators because we want to later on position everything back to that exact position so I'll put a locator here at the shoulder at the elbow duplicate it at the wrist and also let's put one at uh, the end of the wrist kind of the inside the hand okay then the next step would be to grab the shoulder and go through the whole joint chain and make sure that none of our rotation axes uh, have any values or they're set to zero and also the joint orientation is set to zero okay and let's do the same thing with the elbow and the same thing with the wrist so now we've got a very straight joint right here and all the local rotation axes are perfectly aligned they're matching they're exactly the same so the next step would be to uh, decide which way do we want to bend that elbow and I'm just gonna choose the y-axis we're gonna bend it and set preferred angle at this point we can zero out our rotation axis and go ahead and create our first IK with this IK set we can now bend it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna point snap so hold down V or enable this point snap tool and we're gonna point snap this joint to the wrist to its original location so now the wrist joint matches its position uh, and now we need to make sure that the elbow is at this position as well at, at this locator's position how do we do that well very simple we're gonna use our pole vector constraint so let's select this IK uh, loc locator shift select the IK and we're gonna say constrain pole vector now you'll notice that this joint snaps back to its original location and it's also rigged okay so we've got everything set up here perfectly working we can also set up uh, the second joint here with an IK handle let's click that here the same way and we're gonna point snap the handle to this locator so at this point if we hide our locators we're gonna have a functional arm that's always gonna stay and never flip and at this point we can actually go ahead and uh, skin our geometry to the joints skin bind smooth smooth bind and we're gonna have a perfect arm rig without any flipping so I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, and we're gonna take a look at the more complex stuff in the, the next uh, video